Hello, today we're going to talk about GitOps, specifically how GitLab enables GitOps and how you can use GitOps to deploy infrastructure as code. So what is GitOps? GitOps is the use of a Git repository as the single source of truth for all infrastructure and application deployment code. As you can see from my example here, we've got various different teams that contribute to code that will live in a Git repository, and then be through, through automation using Terraform to deploy out to um, different public cloud services. In this example, I'm gonna walk you through how we create three different Kubernetes clusters in three different public clouds, all using a common process, collaborating with my team, all within GitLab. So first thing I'm going to do is go to GitLab and log into my group called GitOps Demo. I'm looking at the README section here, and I just want to show off kind of the structure of the group. So at the top, we have a top level group called GitOps Demo. We've got a couple of various different individual projects and two subgroups, one for applications and one for infrastructure. Today, we're going to look at the infrastructure. I'm now in my infrastructure group. I've got a repository for each cloud that I'd like to work on and one for templates. If I click on my AWS repository as an example, I can see all the files associated here. These are all written in Terraform. And I've got a GitLab CI.yaml file. This provides the instructions for the automation. Let's have a quick look around. I've got a couple of different files here, a backend file that, def that calls out that we're going to store our Terraform um, state files in the Terraform Cloud in an organization called GitOps Demo and a workspace called AWS. This keeps our running state in the cloud provider. So Anybody can access this at any time. Well, anybody on my team at least. I've got another Terraform file here for the Kubernetes cluster itself, leveraging the EKS module. I give it a few parameters, like what kind of subnets, how many nodes I want, what size, and some tags. I need to create a GitLab admin user on the Kubernetes cluster. I want that done automatically as code and managed by Terraform. So I leverage the Kubernetes provider to do this. And lastly, I want to register this Kubernetes cluster with GitLab. So I'm going to use the GitLab provider to create a group cluster called AWS cluster. give it a, a domain name and an environment scope and pass in the credentials. So after this runs, all of this will be deployed. My cluster will be created in AWS and it will be automatically registered to my GitOps demo slash apps group. Let's take a quick look at that. Here I have my applications. Here I have my EKS cluster. All the information is provided automatically to GitLab through Terraform. The URL that was automatically created, the cluster name, the CA certificate, and the token. Now, to deploy applications to this cluster, all I need to do is run my CI jobs in my various different application uh, groups. It 
show an example of this. I can see here that the build test I can see that my build stage, all of my testing stage, including my security scans, and then my deploy into production was successful. If I look at the logs here, I can see the last time this one was deployed, it was actually deployed to the AKS cluster. Let's take a look at the CI code that deploys these Kubernetes clusters with Terraform. Go back to my infrastructure group, look at my templates, and look at my Terraform template. What I've got here is a CI file that has a few different stages, validate, plan, apply, and destroy. It's gonna use HashiCorp's Terraform uh, base image container. And we're going to run a few different tasks. We're going to initialize Terraform. We're going to validate that everything's correct. We're going to follow good practices, GitOps practices, by creating a merge request. That merge request will define what's going to happen. The plan file will then be uploaded to the merge request. We'll do a final plan before deploying to, uh, after deploying to master. And then we'll apply this. We've even got a destroy stage if we wanted to uh, delete all of this, this code. That's it. This is how you use Terraform to deploy infrastructure as code with GitLab using GitOps processes. Thank you.